All right, uh, thank you, Joel. Let's uh, begin with the business of the coffee chat. And uh, joining me this morning, Tsehoacho Moachi. Good morning, Koli. Uh, good morning. You know, you're one of the early risers, unlike some of our colleagues who've been here before. <laughs> you, you're here right on time. I mean, you were here at five already. Yes, that is Amazing. Right. It's good to have you. Thank you. Sunny Leganglos. Nansiga. Good morning, sir. Good. We're okay. I'm always better after the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the business of the coffee chat. And I was just speaking about the economy in my opening intro there. And it's not looking good. Sejo. If we look at the front page of the business day, Moody's slashes South Africa's economic growth or economic outlook. And it says down below, ratings agency says, economy struggled to eke out any growth in 2019 and cites power cuts. So ESCOM, front and center of that particular decision to cut the growth forecast for South Africa. Quite interesting, isn't it, how they are once again um, in the spotlight, but not for exactly the best of reasons, um, ESCOM, that is. I mean, now um, they are... They, they could possibly bring the country into a junk status because they're struggling to keep the lights on. Um, and this is actually quite scary if you think about it, because if we go into junk status, um, what's going to happen to the people that can barely mm. survive as it is? So, I mean, them just cutting our economic outlook, I mean, there's a 0.7% um, forecast for 2019.